that I thrifted this past week. I spent a little too much. I haven't been to this Goodwill in a really long time. I wasn't expecting to find anything, but two hours later, I left with all of these bags. And a little bit of regret, but also not really. Like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's fine. We're fine. Let's start the haul. I'm gonna start with the thing I'm most excited about. It's pants. I bought a lot of pants. I'm very particular about my jeans. I own a bunch, but I wear two. Like, they're in constant rotation. Now I have a pair of pants for at least almost every single day of the week. First, we're starting off with these Lee Riders. Are you kidding me? I've never found pants at the thrift store that fit me correctly. Most of the time I get them, I'm like, oh, I'll get these altered. I'll cut them and I'll DIY them. Mm -mm, no, no need. No need. These have no need. They fit perfectly. They are like a mom jean, but not the mom jean where it kind of like suffocates your... I'm so excited I found these. They have the cutest detail on the back. All of the jeans I bought are a little short on the ankles, but I'm almost six foot tall and all jeans are kind of like that for me. The next pair of jeans are the same pair of jeans. They're Lee Riders with the cool little detail on the back. They're the same size. They're perfect. They fit me amazingly. They fit me so well. I'm so excited. They probably need to stretch a tiny bit, but I think that's doable. Something I realized with all of these jeans is I can't tell if someone hemmed these or not. I think that they did just based on how the cuff goes, but I'm not like DIY intelligent so i'm not gonna unhem them just to rehem them i actually tried these on in goodwill the dressing rooms are closed so i put it on over my pants the next one so i have another pair of lee jeans i'm realizing now all the pants that i got are from lee so i guess someone just really likes the brand and they donated all of their items these are sadly not another pair of lee riders they're just lee's these are shorts, so it makes, no, not like shorts, but like short instead of long. So it makes sense as to why these don't fit my leg all the way. However, I don't care. Just wear some like high top shoes, some docks or something. The next item that I'm going to show you is actually the first item that I picked up. Found them in the men's section, but they're definitely not men's pants. I don't know what this pattern's called, but it's like brown and white. And they're also from Lee. And they fit so well. And the zipper is such good quality. I'm more excited for these pair of pants than I am for any other pair of pants that I bought and when I was looking in the women's pants I found the same pair of pants in khaki and I left them and then two days later I went back and I bought them <laughs> they're the same pants same size they might be a little bit different to be honest with you but for the most part they're the same and they fit the same the zipper like the good quality zipper is the same I'm excited about these the next two pants I'm going to show you were my favorite finds that quickly turned into my biggest disappointment the first one being these like TSC crazy sexy cool pairs of pants these are so swag, so epic. They have such a cool design. I'm not a fan of like the wash part of it, but it has like a nice like flared bottom and a cool little belt. They don't fit me and that's fine. It's fine. You know, you just have to accept your losses. It wasn't meant to be. However, they fit my mom and my brother's girlfriend. Not me though. They might be wearing these instead of me and I'll just have to live vicariously through them. The next thing I got, the one that I'm the most sad about. Zara jeans that were $50 originally that still have the tag on. They were my size. However, they ran small. Are you kidding me? Like I'm genuinely very upset that these do not fit me. I don't think I've ever been more upset about something in my life. I got these for $6.99. Are you kidding me? Let's talk about the shirts that I bought. The first shirt that I bought was actually in the men's section. Don't know why it was in the men's section, but my cousin picked it out. It is this super cute little button-up blouse with embroidered flowers. This is my favorite item of clothing right now. The next shirt that I got is another button-up blouse. It's this like red checkered cropped button-up. I'm super excited about this one. Not gonna lie. Does it look like a pajama shirt? A little, but I pair it with my nice pair of jeans. Bam, you got yourself a fit. Is it a good fit? That's up to interpretation. There's this like cool little detail on the bottom. I love it. What can I say? I also picked up this like denim button up grandma chic 4th of July looking. It has all this like cute little embroidered stuff on the bottom. And there's a little heart. One of the buttons is a little star. It's so cute. Next thing. I was a little upset about this. I bought this. I love this. I bought this tie. And I'm super excited about this tie. And I still am super excited about it. But I showed it to my brother because 
because I've been so excited about all the stuff that I've gotten that I've given a thrift haul to every single person that has come to my house. But I got this little tie. I think it could be a look. A little white button up action. Uh, he said he didn't see the vision. Another person was like, oh, like a little school girl. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not giving up on the tie yet. I still have my hopes and dreams. They haven't been crushed yet. They've almost been crushed, but not yet. And it's just cute. The next couple of things are from the kids section. A little pro tip, look at every single section. Bring a friend. You'll never know what's hidden in there. I found some real gems. The first thing, this really cute striped long sleeve. For me, it kind of fits like a three fourth sleeve. I'm down for that look. It doesn't fit tight. I I love this shirt. Adding to the list of disappointments, this white t-shirt. My thought process for this white t-shirt to wear it as a cute little white crop top. But the problem with that, the sleeves and the head hole are way too tight and they do not stretch the way you think that they would stretch. So I'm incredibly sad that this does not fit me because it is so cool, so epic, so groovy. There are stains, ignore those, I'm gonna get them out. It's probably from some like little kid eating spaghettios or something. It just shows me that they were loved. I'm still really upset about this. The next shirt, I'm torn. This is the shirt. The design is amazing. It's like all the OG, really cool Nickelodeon characters I grew up with. However, is this shirt definitely a pajama kid shirt? Yes. Does this sleeve make me look like a bodybuilder in that I work out arms every single day and I'm super buff? Also, yes. So that's where I get torn. Do I want to look like I snort protein powder every morning? No, I'm still deciding on this one, but it's super cute. A space shirt. Are you kidding me? I'm ready to go to the planetarium. Something about me, I love space. I don't love learning about it, but I love looking at it. And I like little cartoon stars, like little doodles. I was really excited to find this. And then not only that, look at the back. Maybe one day I'll learn about space by reading my t-shirt. Um, until that day, I'm just gonna wear it because it's really cute. The last shirt that I bought is the most iconic shirt that I've bought. It is the Spider-Man t-shirt. I love it. I love how faded it looks, but I also love how bright the eyes look compared to the fade. And I think that's definitely how it was made. The shirt is just too good. I'm pumped about this. This is quite literally the best shirt that I own. And I'm not taking any criticism. I lied. I bought more shirts, but they're sweaters. Do those count as shirts? I only bought two, but I'm super excited about them. The first one is this wool, Ar is it called Argyle? I'm nervous about owning this sweater. The last wool sweater that I owned, my mom washed it and dried it and it shrunk to the size of a toddler. I'm super excited about this one. I'm so excited and with fall coming up and winter and it getting cold, I can't wait to wear it. It's a little itchy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. This one I'm super excited about. I've seen some stuff like this on Pinterest. Not this color but just like a simple sweatshirt design i have this one and it looks like a v-neck with a little t-shirt underneath without all the sweat i can't wait for it to get even a little bit chilly as soon as it does this puppy's coming out of the closet and it's going on my body i'm gonna rock the shit out of the sweater and I'm so excited about it. Somehow I keep forgetting that I bought this, which is really weird considering how cute it is. It's just this like cute striped maxi skirt. It has these two slits on the side that I think it'd be really cute if I had some like black boots to peek out the side. It's a super soft material, extremely breathable, which is really good for the fall because you wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. It's like 60 degrees outside. Then it's like mid afternoon and like 95 degrees outside. You're burning up, breathable skirt. You can't go wrong with it, honestly. I've never been more excited about a skirt in my entire life. I found a mid length purple floral skirt. Are you kidding me? That's all I have to say about it. It is extremely epic and super cute. I will be wearing this as much as possible, as much as weather permits. Is it a little big? Yes, but so is the other skirt. What does it matter? I'm super excited. Last thing, I got a matching mug. It only matches in the fact that it's purple and floral. It's so cute. So that's my haul. I'm probably not gonna touch a thrift store again for a couple months. I haven't gone thrifting in a long time and I deserve this. And I deserve a good pair of pants and a good skirt and a really cool Spider-Man shirt, okay? Anyways, subscribe.